Wasabi you guys, happy April Fools and today in this video I decided you know what, what's a good video to uh, do April Fools on? This scariest integral and so with this scariest integral I'm gonna be speed solving this integral so let's go ahead and speed solve this famous scariest integral of all time. So first of all we're gonna leave u equal negative x okay what this does is, I mean, this and this is just going to cancel each other out. So we're going to, let's see, 1 plus x plus 1 plus x minus, uh, this is like 2 square root 1 minus x square, All right? Okay, so we pretty much just get something like, what? Uh, don't forget to divide by 2. Yeah, it's just going to be this. Right, so and that's if that's the case, we'll go ahead and just simply just do trig sub. Um, let x equals sine theta. Right, this is going to cancel out, so we get something like pi over two, negative pi over two. Um, yeah, sine theta. Uh, I'll actually turn this into like s square s plus one square. Uh, s minus one square. Um, if Weierstrass strauss is actually gonna be nice, yeah. Weierstrass strauss let u go tangent of theta over two. So Weierstrass strauss is actually a lot nicer, All right? Pi over four, yeah. So it's just gonna go back to this. Uh, I'll take care of that later. This is now all the the one plus u square. Square, uh, yeah, 1 plus u squared squared is all going to cancel out. So we're actually just going to be left off with like 4u squared plus, uh, this is what u plus 1 squared squared, u plus 1, 4. Now we know this is just going to be u minus 1 version of that, right? Uh, here, this that's 1 plus u squared, 2u, and then our du had 2. Oh, awesome. So they both cancel out like that. Oh, that's actually amazing. <laughs> Woo. Okay. I remember now. I remember. So, okay. U plus 1, 4. Um, oh, okay. I remember now. So we, we pretty much have this, right? Um, notice that here, this bottom portion here, Okay. If you let u equal negative x, right, then this becomes this. And the minus, because of the u at the bottom, right, the negative gets rid of the negative at the bottom. So we pretty much have this on top twice. So now our integral is simply 2 over u ln for u squared plus u plus 1 the power of 4 du. Now we're gonna do something very very inhumane. We're gonna actually factor out this complexifyingly, right? So using the law of a squared minus b squared to factor out, right? So this is going to be 2u squared, I'm sorry actually no no no, uh, u plus 1 squared plus 2u I, yeah, and then u plus 1 squared minus 2ui. That sounds about right. Yeah. So we're going to complexifyingly factor it. So now what we have here is now we have uh, 2, do not forget the 2. Uh, that would kill us all. And uh, 2 times all this over u, we now have u plus 1 square plus 2iu minus ln, oh I'm sorry, no, plus uh, u plus 1 square minus 2iu, okay? Now, here's the scary part, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Where you want to, I want to construct my integral, okay, I have n. First and foremost, 
we are not going to do this. Okay, we are not letting n equal to i. This is a no-no. We are not letting n equal to i. Okay, if we take the i out, it's going to diverge. So I need the complex i imaginary to put everything back together. Another, I'm not going to let n equal to 2. Okay, I'm letting n equal to 1. So we're going to have everything in it. Okay, and the reason why is because I need that 2 uh for because we're going to be completing the square and that having keeping the two out is going to prevent us having fractions as we complete the square okay so let this is going to be our constructive integral here du okay and so now i want you to remember that this is equal to 2i of 1 plus i of negative 1. Okay, that's what our integral, our original integral is. Okay, now let's just find this, uh, the general form of this. If we differentiate this, u plus 2i and u, the u cancels out, but we get 2i du. Okay, now it's a lot easier to complete the square. So 2i du, we get u square plus 2, 1 plus ni, u plus 1. Okay. And if we complete the square, this is like... Uh, thank God with this 2, now it's a lot easier because I could just go like this. 1 plus ni square. Uh, and then plus 1 minus 1 plus ni. I'm just going to keep it like this for the sakes of speed solving. Okay. So now this is just inverse tangent stuff, right? So this is all equal to uh, 2i square root of 1 minus 1 plus ni square. Okay. And we have inverse tangent of like uh, u plus, let's let, let's let a equal 1 plus ni. Okay, then we have u plus a over square root of 1 minus a square. Okay, if we plug in, let me just keep the, I'm keeping the constant out for now. But pretty much what's going to happen is when you plug in negative 1 and 1, if you plug in 1, you get plug in 1, you get a square root 1 plus a, 1 minus a. Uh, plug in negative 1, uh, you get a minus 1, but we're going to take the, the negative out, which makes that positive. And now we have 1 minus a, 1 plus a. What is this, you guys? This is pi over 2. So what we have is we have 1 plus ni square times pi over 2. We just have pi i. So what that means is for i of n, going back to i of n, which means we are deriving pi i 1 plus 1 plus ni square dn. This is just simply pi inverse sine of 1 plus ni. Awesome. All right, cool. We found i of n. Now what? Well, now we have to find the constant, right? So let's go ahead and find our constant first. So we know this is pi inverse sine of like 1 plus ni plus c. Uh, however, we need to find c, right? If i is equal to 0, i of 0, this is going to be what? 2 ln of u plus 1 squared. Oh, not squared. Uh, just that. But I mean, if you use Taylor series, we we know this. It's a famous integral. With by Taylor series, this is just going to equal to pi square over two. Plug this in with zero. That's also pi square over two. So it seems like c is equal to zero. Awesome. So that means that our original integral, our original integral, is two times. Let's see. Plug in. Inverse sine of like 1 plus i. 
then plus pi times inverse sine of 1 minus i. Awesome! Let's clean everything up now. Oh god, this part is a little... This part's a little nasty, because <laughs> I don't know about you, but I I'm no I know nothing about complex al algebra. But I do know from G main, thanks G main, uh, inverse sine. There we have an identity for this, and the identity we're going to use is this is equal to inverse sine of x one minus y square plus y one minus x square. Okay. So, of course, this 2 pi thing, uh, this here, uh, we have inverse sine of like, what, 1 plus i, square root of 1 plus 2i, and then of like plus 1 minus i, square root of 1 minus 2i. What? Nasty. Ugh. Okay. You, you do you, but with some all the complex algebra, with a, a, with a bunch of complex algebra, all of this complex algebra stuff with some com, uh, complex algebra Olympiad magic, this is all equal to 2 square root of square root of 5 minus 2. And this is our answer. And there you go. We have speed solved one of the scariest integrals on the internet. And this is how you speed solve it. Okay. This is exactly how you speed solve it. This is indeed equivalent to 4 pi inverse cotangent of the square root of the golden ratio. Okay? This is equivalent. But the speed solving, our speed solving solution, it's just this. Okay? Alright. Holy hell. I, I, <laughs> I know for a fact that you skipped at the end of this video. I know for, I, you just had to. I know, natural instinct. If you didn't, goddamn, you have a lot of trust in me. But I'm pretty sure that because it's April Fool's Day, you must have skipped to the middle or skipped to the end of this video. Come on, admit it. Admit that you you, you skipped to the end of this video because it's April Fool's Day. I get you. <laughs> but uh, jokes on you. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll shut up before I I keep spoiling more. But um. Yeah, if you if you skipped uh, to to the end of this video, please please watch at the beginning, and uh, it'll all make sense to you. All right, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. We have speed solved the scariest integral on the internet, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya! Happy April Fools.